Hello everybody, welcome back to the terminal. And today I have a little something special for you. So this you is to going to be a, story, a, a quick glimpse into the world the of speedrunning in Borderlands 3. I am attempting to just display the first segment of my usual speedrunning route in Borderlands 3. The goal of this video is to create something that's entertaining for you guys to watch and also gives kind of myself a reference point. I am very out of practice with this route. So trying to kind of do it all from memory can prove to be pretty difficult. Um, I was originally trying to go in with zero practice at all. Um, luckily or unluckily, I at my first attempt of recording this video, my game crashed about halfway through the run. So between that and so many other time losses, I opted to simply start over. Hopefully, that will lead to this run being a little bit better, a little more entertaining. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an attempt at a live commentary of just showing off this route. Something that I hope you guys all enjoy. Uh, before we really get started here, please do leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new here. And let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is I actually need to let you all know we are using um, hunt rules. So what that means is that all of this stuff right here, all these first couple of things, if I can ever get them, there we go. They must be dropped off immediately. They are not ours to use. See ya. Um, but there are certain rules that the hunt follows that I am not allowed to do certain things that are normally in the route that I follow. For instance, there's a swap reload glitch. I can't use that. There is pestilence flying. Can't use that either. This changes the run in a way that makes it a little more difficult, but most of that doesn't really come into play for this run. Uh, most of the intro is just save quitting, kind of skipping dialogue, and stuff like that. Normally we would save th quit there for dialogue, but it literally saves no time on console. My goal is to go for the fastest IRL time in addition to a substantially fast in-game time. I kind of have to juggle those two because the ultimate like idea is that I would want to use this route in the hunt for Borderlands 3. If you don't know what the hunt is, by the way, um, allow me to explain. The hunt is a community event every year in the Borderlands franchise, which takes place over about a week and a half, two weeks sometimes, to just hunt down every unique item in the game from its original drop source. And there's rules that kind of make it so that you can't go too fast or do anything too cheesy. Um, but it's a, it is a big um, charity event that we do every year that I partake in usually. I didn't get to this year, but um, that's why I want to be able to practice with this route. So first thing we're waiting on is Claptrap to uh, blow this up. Just a little after Q. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then save quit there after he explodes it. Hope we hit the save qu station. Because if we didn't, that's a huge time loss. Now take your gun, recruit. F. That's on me. Um. So I guess I won't skip this next dialogue, because that was foolish of me. That's uh, that's my first big time loss that I I messed up. Normally we would be save quitting. We'd already be talking to Shiv right now, I think. We're gonna run, because the important thing is we need to hit that. Right there. Um, so yeah, this is this is going up unedited. All of the mistakes that I make, all the time losses, all the nonsense, all the awkward pauses and silences. Um, and I, I hope you guys appreciate it for what it is. So... 
we're here. We're waiting on Claptrap. He's going to talk to Shiv over here. Got and this is kind of when we get to wait around. I get to explain a little more of what's going on. My personal best for this... Um, oh, yeah, there's an invisible waypoint that you have to hit by being here. Yeah. My, um... Yeah, jeez. So many time losses. Already. We, we've we just started, and this is a part that I normally get totally flawless. But we're already making mistakes. So, the segment that we're going to get today is the one that I have the most practice with. It is the one from the first... From literally from spawn all the way to getting onto Sanctuary 3. Um, obvious story spoilers ahead. If if for some reason you don't like know the story of this game and don't want it spoiled for you, sure, whatever. Um, but yeah, the the idea is we're gonna get to Sanctuary 3 as fast as possible, um, but also not too fast because. We have to kind of min-max what level we are, what skills we have, what guns we have, what gear we use, all kinds of things like that, in order to um, in order to actually like get the right pace. So the first another big dialogue skip is save quitting right after claptrap says another, and we're just gonna keep on moving. Yeah, my personal best for this run is getting to Sanctuary in about 42 minutes of in-game time. Um, which is pretty solid, honestly. Now, because this is not a segmented run, I don't get the luxury of just keeping only the good segments. I have to pick even the imperfect ones. And then save quit. A little bit of mobbing. That was actually pretty good mobbing time for me. So I'm happy with that. We're going to keep going. Next thing we're going to do is a little more mobbing. And then as soon... And I, wa I want to stay towards the left side of the arena as much as possible. Because the next thing we're going to have to do is try to get a big, big dialogue skip uh, for the shield. Which will allow us to fight Shiv a little bit early. All right, got caught on the table geometry. Kill this guy. Hold on, we're gonna ba 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 kill him, and then attempt on that guy's life. I would rather lose a little bit of time. Oh, did I get it? I don't think I did. I don't think I got it fast enough. Nope, not quite. You have to be so, so, so fast for that skip, which is so difficult to do. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, that's just kind of the risk you take. Every now and then you take an L, and that's okay. Now, luckily, we should at least... We're still well ahead of where we were. Um, and we sh this should be no exception. Because... Um, in the first run... This was just... It was so sad. I had to fight Shiv normal style. Um, which... Just kidding, this might actually be a problem. We're meleeing this man to death. Alright, pick that up. Another Hyperion shotgun, which is not good. And, of course, we missed the jump. We unlock clone and drone. We resurrect. Not really a big time save with that. But now we save quit. <sighs> Decent enough time. It's it's still suboptimal. 
which is fine because I do want to have a point of reference for when I come back and do this again later on once I've perfected the run, the route. But, um, I, I have to be still at least trying. So, now we're here. We got somehow an even worse Hyperion shotgun than last time. It looks like. Yeah, eight in the mag, low damage. Low, low, low damage. We save quit again. And then. Oh, let's save quit. And then talk to her again. We'll talk to her, and then, okay, that's the same Before shield. We, Let me know when you're ready. we actually do want to have that grenade mod. Because, um... That grenade mod will come in handy for grenade jumping. And, uh, just grenade jumping, really. Now, the goal for this portion is we have to make sure that Lilith doesn't do too much combat. Because if she does, it will become a bit of an issue. Okay, go get where you need to be so I can talk to you. That was pretty fast, not gonna lie. Um, now we just gotta talk to Lilith. Have to make sure that it, she doesn't get the AFK thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, decent enough time. For some reason, Shiv's AI just wasn't doing what I'm used to him doing in the Shiv fight. Normally, he'll let me just get the melee off on the barrel, launch it into the shock thing, and he'll take a shock dot and a fire dot, and he'll he'll die, kind of outright. Um, like that one right there. I I don't know what happened, why it's been such an issue today. Even like in the earlier run, that same thing happened, except it was an even worse situation. Again, I'll have to perfect uh, the parkour over there too. That's kind of uh, another big issue that I have. I just need to get practice with it. But it is what it is. So I'm going to try to cool show as many cool secrets and skips as I can, some time, time saves. Some cool ways to make things happen a little bit faster. Um, but uh, ultimately, I just want this to be a good time so you can kind of see what it's like speedrunning. Um, this is a very difficult video to make because it kind of requires me to be on for just an hour straight. Uh, no, no editing. And I have to be fully in the zone and try to commentate. So, if that... If this does entertain you, please do leave the like, let me know. It uh, it lets me know my hard work pays off. Um, so, the next real skip we're waiting for is for Lilith to open the gate. We will save a whole, I think, quarter of a second by doing this right here. That's it. You shoot your clone through the gate as soon as it opens, teleport to it, and you're good. <laughs> that is the big time save. That's the first one. It's not anything crazy, but um, it's something. Now, the next thing we can do is uh, sell off all of that crap at the, um, at the vending machine. We're going to check always for fleet and um, mostly just like a fleet or vagabond shield because those are the, the big, big important pieces um, for the speed we want. 
You try to get a jump there so that you can get a little bit more speed. This side quest we're picking up is important for a huge dialogue skip at the very end of the game. But um, for now, it's just used for a smaller dialogue skip in this quest. So, this next part is a big time save that you can hopefully do. Hopefully I can show it off first try. We got it! Look at that! Okay, big. That is so important. You have to get almost a frame perfect jump to um, to get that jump because as soon as you land on the thing, you have to um, you have to uh, as soon as you land on it, you have to jump again. Sorry, this is again kind of the hard part of commentating and engaging at the same time. Um, so thank you for your patience with that. We're already, we're on good track, honestly. 16 minutes, not so bad. I am still on console, so load screens are still a thing. Um, but you gotta jump, and then jump again. And it's very easy to fail. So, drone again. Now, last run, I wish, I wish the run had been a little salvageable. Oh, we did it again! That never happens. I never get it, like, twice in a row like that. See, this is where practice comes in. I learned the hard way, don't try to clone skip there. Talk to Vaughn. And we're supposed to follow him, but here I also normally will get like a better gun or something to sell even. Uh, but unfortunately, looks like we're stuck with this crappy Hyperion shotgun for right now. Last run, we managed to get a loot tank to spawn and he dropped a conference call shotgun. Um, that was instrumental for farming, um, dump truck. So I wish we still had that, but it will be okay. I hope I waited long enough for Vaughn. There we go. I'm going to let my drone do that bit of combat. Now the next piece that we... Uh, a little unpracticed on is just this parkour up the mountain this is what loses me most of my time hold on and the roaring of the skags is not helping there we go right up here You have a very slim chance of getting a Vanquisher here, but you can't be so lucky. That was a Vagabond and Fleet Shield. That's a better shotgun. So normally, I'd be able to get my Vanquisher there um, in a perfect run, and I would be able to be zooming through all this, but unfortunately, that can't be the case this time. It, it's so, so rare that you're ever going to get that um that vanquisher in um in that slot on the chest but it is possible and so maybe maybe one day we'll uh we'll actually get that to work but um for the time being we're going to fast travel back to the droughts and up next, we move. Actually, I want to make sure. Here, here, here. Uh, cold bore, and then we go and check our inventory. We're gonna put this instead of that, and this instead of that. Damage is far preferable. Um. I think this way. Next is save quit. And then next up is Ellie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get a car. Red shots on top of Ellie's. That's what we're doing next. Now, unfortunately, oh wait, do we get the fleet vagabond shield yet? We do. That is a huge upgrade. Um, those of you that don't know. Fleet and Vagabond both give you increased movement speed. 
So, next thing we're doing, going to Ellie's. I think it was worth it to sell my stuff there. It's a couple of seconds of time lost, but we got a shield that should be helpful. I'm going to save my drone because I don't want to use it yet. Now, normally you could just go straight up to Ellie's, but because I need some more loot, I'm going to jump up top and try to hope for a better shotgun. Those are all grenade mods. Don't need those. Okay. Speak to Ellie. And then we drive this way. And we're going to go try to steal a car. While I'm around here, I'm going to just let the drone do some killing. The drone is pretty good for just giving you passive XP. Um, so important to have passive XP in this run. Or at least semi-passive. Because otherwise, you're just going to have a bad time. Now, for this, I'm going to do what I didn't do last time. I'm going to actually hijack the vehicle, because last time... Uh, last time I blew up the car instead of stealing it. So, let that sink in. Um, yeah, it was, it was very, very bad. Does that work? It totally works. There we go. This is where we're going to go next. So. Yeah, seven holes, something like that. But hey, this, we're going to hit this. And then the next thing we're doing is we're just going to farm dump truck until, or we're going to complete the quest. And then farm dunk truck until we are level five and a half. This gives us two things. This gives us on track for where we need to be with our XP farming. And it also um, burst fire is not good. Semi auto is even worse. Wow, I did not read this SMG. All right, yeah, brown knight is fine. That's fine. We need his shotgun that he drops. Stagecoach is better. I want that. Uh, what's this purple? Nothing good. And we all, so we need a couple things from him actually. Sorry uh, for the misunderstanding or the miscommunication. We need the XP. We need a longbow Hyperion grenade, just longbow grenade. Oh, good shields. Nope. No good shields. Um, yeah, so XP, Hyperion grenade, and the TK's Wave shotgun. Uh, TK's Wave is an insanely good shotgun that was balanced around Mayhem 10, and as a result is super broken for early game by the way get used to um get used to that dialogue line you'll be hearing it for the next couple minutes um yeah it's uh super important that you just take out dump truck here okay uh This is another time where having um, having the option to um, swap reload would be very, very nice. Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury, but that's okay. I think we'll save the butt plug for now. No, um, nothing big there. We do get a longbow, and that's good.
Longbow is an important piece of the speedrun puzzle. But for now, we just have to farm and hope, hope desperately that we get a fire and or shock TK's wave shotgun. We don't want the tidal wave, we want the TK's wave. There's a very big difference, and uh, it's super important that we that we get that, because it will be carrying us through, I think level 17 is the actual level where we stop using it. Yeah, 17 levels. All right, hold on now. That's much better. All right, better shield maybe. Nope, single Vagabond, Vagabond projected adaptive. I'll take Vagabond Fleet over all of this every day of the week. Uh, because then we have options if we're depleted or if we're uh, full. So the, the shield we have now is probably the best we can get unless we get a double fleet. Um, double fleet is going to be the move. Because double Vagabond only comes into play for a little longer. Going ahead and getting these guys mad at us is fine, as we can have our drone combating them for now. Now that we have that Jacob shoddy, we can also kind of pre-aim this. Drone for the Psychos. Get the kill. That's a shotgun that is no good. Also no good. Cool. It takes a little bit of time to farm farm this guy. So while we're at it, hey, good to see you again. <laughs> I'm having to take a little break from the commentary a little bit. Uh, just check in. Uh, I'd like to let you know I am currently affiliated with No Name Nerd. So... I think I'll leave their uh, link in the description. I have an affiliate link with them that if you want to buy any of the merchandise on their website, you can use my code and get a discount. Or you can use my link and uh, get an even bigger discount. So, you know, if you want to save more money and, you know, also support the channel more, that's the way to do it right there. Oh, first wave. Let's go. Much better start. TK's heat wave. <gasps> no way. All right, I'm going to have to check the parts, but I think that might be optimal. Oh, it looked really, really good. I don't think we had the part up front for bonus damage. But if nothing else, this will speed up the farming. Okay, we got the foregrip. No damage piece up front, but that's okay. How much is the damage? 50 times 6? I think that's the move. But yeah, it does an insane amount of damage. And we're not even level 5 yet, so we have an opportunity to get a second one. So yeah, the boss is here. Now he's not. That's the heat wave. This gun is stupid and it will carry us for so many levels yeah crazy times um oh yeah no name nerd stuff just uh links in the description they got some pretty cool stuff i'm not big into nfts but they sell them for like five bucks and i think they have like a game in their discord if you want to join in that i think it's pretty cool um so that's kind of up to you. Spend your money how you like, but if you want to support the channel, that's a cool way to do it. So, why, why, uh, why a shock one also? Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, no way! The same sentence that I say it. We get it. That's so huge. You guys don't even realize. Um. <laughs> We want a shock one as well for um 
for Katagawa Ball, I think. Of course, I think by then we might be using the Handsome Jackie. Or the not the handsome Jackie, the uh the nimble jack shotgun. Wow. That is incredible. Next run. As I, as I'm talking about it. And this is the TK's, not the title. Yeah, TK Shockwave. And it's the uh the one in the mag. So it gets yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the difference, is damage also. Sixty times six versus fifty times six. That is a difference of a lot of damage. Now, of course, you get fire on flesh bonus here. And we get a double drop? Okay. Now, I want to check these as well in case we get a better shield. All right, luckiest playthrough yet. Uh, cool headed. No, these are both tidal waves and they're terrible, but they'll be good money because money is a big deal in this playthrough. Like I said, if I see a triple Vagabond or triple Fleet Shield in the vendor, I want it. I want it real bad. So, I need to be able to, able to ensure that I have the money for that shield at any point. We are now level, are we level five and a half yet? Um, we are level five, not level five and a half yet. So, we gotta keep going. Maybe we'll get an even, like, more optimal uh, heat wave. From this run. Here we go, check it. Boop. He's just dead. Nothing you can say about that. Boop. They're done. Nothing there. Um... And then save and quit. Oh man, this is fun. This is totally fine. We're doing good. I'm I'm here for this. This is a really solid first kind of. Uh, we're only thirty minutes in as well. Oh yeah, I think we were like forty-five minutes in by this point in the last one, and this is also where we crashed. So we're at a really really good point in um in the run next thing we're gonna do is move to the ascension bluff and try to hit one of the hardest skips um because it's it's so important to do the the skip that we're talking about is the back door or mouthpiece um you can there's a clone warp that you can do that will just barely let you teleport up around the back. I think this will be the last run that we do. Um, and then we'll teleport back to a catch a ride. Provided that we're over five and a half. Or not to a catch a ride, to the nearest, I think just to the, the Crimson Raider camp. We'll check Chaos the West. Hold on. What is this? Backhand. We'll, if it's a good one, we'll take the backhand. It's not, so we're good. We'll pass. We'll pass on that TK's wave as well. Check for just in case. And now we will teleport back here. And get our point. We've already got our point into Bold Bore and Violent Speed. So here, just respawn and teleport. And. Cult following. I think I always go the wrong direction on this one. Yeah, so we go, we go left. We go left. Good adventurers, go left. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've already passed the dump trunk outpost. The next big deal is that we need to go this way. We're kind of drawing a straight line, or as straight a line as possible from point A to point B. We have to hit this fast travel here, um, or 
a skip later that we'll need to get to. Um, it will allow us to, as soon as we're done with Tannis' situation, or right before we go to Tannis, we will be able to pick up a side quest, which will allow us to skip a little bit of dialogue. We're already to Ascension Bluff, which is great so far. Um, there's an opportunity we have later, later where we have a second of downtime um, to sell stuff. I'm not going to wait until then. I'm going to do this now because, of course, we're going to check for a shield and refill our health and ammo. Jump back in. And we're going to drive fast. Yeah, this is this is like our last real opportunity to try and get um well we only get like one good shot at getting this skip, so I want to make sure that I do it right. Over here there's a Typhon log, which I'll be getting. Oh, I went out too early. Sorry about that. Time loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then keep on going. Next, next, next up is yeah. No, the only big thing here that is like difficult is you have to get this little um. Well, you have to get claptrap right here. Um, no way. I actually got the uh, the Vagabond skip here too. Okay, that's fine. We lost Vagabond. But, we get to just go this way. And, if we're super, super good, if we get this right, if we land up just correctly, we effing got it. Let's go. All right, all right. Sick, sick, sick. Cool. Um, that saves us so much time fighting through this whole area. So, the next thing we do is we just jump down into the arena. And because it triggers based on location, you kind of have to come to the front of the arena. And boom, it's mouthpiece. Not gonna lie, guys, I really did not expect us to get that. Um, but, you know... Sometimes really good things happen, and that's fine. Alright, let him attack. And then kill him again. Kill a couple tanks. He's dead. He doesn't drop us anything good, except we do have to pick that up. And then... Teleport back here. And then we're gonna oh, come this way, and we are going to farm Strack. At least I think that's what it's called. And we come back to the Outrunner. We're gonna try to get a first kill. And then... Boom! Now he doesn't drop anything good this time. But... You know, SOCKS. Right here, we're gonna fast travel here. I think we save quit a couple of times. Yeah. Fast travel to the routes and then save quit Lilith, save quit, save quit Lilith. So, save quit here. Lilith, 
and then save quit twice, and then Lilith, and then save quit twice. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've got, I've got it all written down on a whiteboard to my left, so that I can try to, you know, figure things out. I'm not gonna go for the most optimal way to do stuff because that's just not possible. Save quit. I'm gonna come back in here. This will boot her dialogue forward. And allow me to just move on to the next part of the game a little bit faster. Yeah, because that completes the mission and then skips that dialogue. And then I get to jump back in. It saved me a couple of seconds. Um, and then talk to Lilith. And then save quit two more times. Check the vendor just in case. That's a single vagabond. And then save quit two more times. Lilith. Hannes. Save quit. Sorry that it's kind of load screen simulator right now. That's like a one of the less fun parts of this playthrough. Is that you do kind of have to do a lot of, you know, not the game. Um, and if I weren't on an Xbox, this would be a bit faster. But unfortunately, I only have this on Xbox for right now. So, this, I think, is the last time Vaughn get out of my way. And then, next thing I do is go to a... I go and get a car. Go to the dig site over here. This was the wrong direction. Cut off your favorite leg. Now, after we're gonna we're gonna come up to Tannis, and when we're in here, we're going to save and quit. And let's get more violent speed so that we can have better movement speed. And that'll be what we do with that. We get a little bit of speed, and that'll be good for more damage later on. So we get here to Tannis. I think we save quit there. Fix that map for me. Those vaults are mine. Yeah, yeah. I am. You must Oh yeah, I know. We save quit here. And then we talk to Tannis and then save quit again. <sighs> and then after this little bit of combat. We will get to well, I examine this unimaginably um alien artifact. Yeah, we don't save with it, do we? And steal anything not nailed down. Oh. I guess we do we don't save quit there. We could, but I don't think we do. Oh no, this is definitely a save quit area. Uh oh, lost a couple seconds. That's fine. Yeah, I forget how long that dialogue is. Hey, super fan. You fix the map yet? Yep, and there we go. And We're in on to the mobbing. Having one that's big mag and one that's big damage is really nice right here. Um, yeah, and I like it. Because now, and also because of loan, we get to 
to have, you know, me in both places at once. These guys do suck when they don't jump down, though. Would you get down here? I shouldn't have shot at him. Then we get some more guys over this way. Does so much damage. Level 7. That's a really great starting point. Right, That's a good spot to be. Because I think now we want to start taking points in Violent Momentum. Okay, yeah. Lilith shows up. Um, Violent Momentum is where we go next. Now this part can get tricky because of Lilith, you know, existing. Did he just jump out of the... Out of the, uh, the gramophone? That's strange. And as soon as this checks off, this is the last enemy. Right? We go to the highway. And then try to grab this super fast. Then a car. Yeah, 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 we gotta get a car. Which, where, 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 where to go? I need to go right out of here. Oh wait, hold on. Because there's also this other thing we need to get here. Right. I was wrong, I think. No, no, no. That's fine. We need the XP, so it's worth it. Um, the next thing we want to do is get up this way. And the idea here is you want to set it next to the back door. Right here. And I'm going to test this skip once. Does not work. So I have to drive all the way around to the back door. Which is fine, but ultimately less fun. Um, it is kind of a time loss, but it's high risk, high reward, so... It's worth it to me. Instead now. We get to go this way. And I'm pretty sure we get to what? Just go around, right? Oh no, yeah, the other way. The other way. Oh man. This is not good time that I'm making right now. We go this way, go around. We will get up to the back door of the ship. Hopefully. I have lost my way. Where do I go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way around. Duh. Like I said, guys, it's been a very long time since I've attempted this route. So, it can be tough. I think my failsafe was... If I missed the jump, I just fast traveled to the Crimson Raider HQ and then um, got a car from there. What's cool about this area is that we can set the car back here. Normally, we can also um, try to just like leave a car up here. And that helps quite a bit. Yes, I can help uh, Ellie get the ship prepped. 
I don't dialogue skip there because it, the dialogue is fast enough that it's not worth skipping. Maybe it is. Maybe I should have saved quit there. But we're in. Driving the biofuel rig. Yep, there we go. What's cool about this is that you can kind of, if you get lucky with your spawns, you can get really good spawns and not have to go very far at all. I think the next thing you got to do, come down this way, perhaps, am I tripping? Maybe. Oh man, but again, if you get less than ideal spawns, not much you can do there. Now, because of our side quests, we have to be really important with this next area. Um, the next thing we gotta do is jump up this side. But if we're not cautious, it will spawn in the monster truck. And that is very bad for us. Bro, please. I think we totally missed it. We were super not fast enough. And in fact, failed so hard that we just lost the jump. This is a big time loss. Just go up. Now we have spawned in the monster truck, which is very bad for us. Yo, I have never had this much trouble with this game before. Screw this noise. Um, we're just gonna go up this way. Never in my life. We have, we have a Vagabond shield on. So like, if nothing else, this is a little faster than just walking. Yeah, that was a huge, huge mistake. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna come over here. Jump up here. Were the biggest untapped resource in the galaxy. There are billions of them across the borderlands. Human wreckage left over from the corporate wars. They're broken, but we make them feel special. So they fight for us. We jump. And, die for us. and then they finally have a place where they belong. A family. We will set it here. The universe is theirs. Come through this way. Get a little kill. Astronav chip. Try that again. Boom. And then, ooh, I guess we have to go back here because my car has despawned. Now, cars are strange in this car in this video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the hard part. I don't know why I didn't draw, spawn the biofuel rig. Maybe I have to do it like over here. But, uh. Oh, this is just bad. Lots of time lost here. Dang it, we were doing so well. But, it's super fine. All I have to do is hit another save quit. Another save station, respawn station rather, like this one, Eyes up. and save quit. And we will be able to come right back, have the biofuel rig ready to go. And I'm gonna do my best to spawn a car 
that will allow us to save some time with this next part of the session. Um. This will be very difficult to execute if I can get it to work at all. But let's hope it does. I hope it does work. Now I can teleport to the to I the outrunner. And then Oh wait, I think I gotta talk to Ellie. No, I'm I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Cool, cool, cool. We're here. New parts are unlocked. Oh, I got I do have to go back. Hopefully it does not destroy my car. Yep. What the hell is that? Ready to go, killer. And it didn't even destroy my car. Can I not? Can I not do that? Is that against the rules? That's fine, I guess. Quick. It didn't even let me hit the teleport. It's an ambush. But, good news is, we just teleport back to the Outrunner. Okay, good news is, after three times, we did finally figure out what to do there. So, it's fine. This is just learning for when we get the better speedrun. No! Oh wait, no, no, that's a human spine, we're good. Oh wait, no, wait. That's bad, we didn't need to pick up the human spine. We needed to specifically not pick up the human spine. But that does ruin us for a, like, a skip later on in the playthrough, but for now, it's ultimately kind of fine. Kill them. And then we will revive Lilith. And then... Ah, uh, F. You hold on to that astronaut chip for now. That's right. We got to talk to Ellie. Speak to Ellie. Normally, I'm able to, like, uh, get a clone put up there before I have to talk to Ellie. And that'll allow me to just clone warp right up here and head into the door just in time for takeoff. And that's kind of where we're at right now. That is just under an hour of recorded time and in game even less and i think that's pretty that's pretty solid that's a really excellent uh pace for me right now i lost a lot of time messed up a handful of times um but like i said my personal record was being on here? sanctuary level seven or eight by this point Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Let's see what our in-game time is. Um, yeah, 47 minutes, just five minutes over my personal best and just under an hour of recorded time. So yeah, we did it. That's, uh, that's really big. 
So from there, we actually do get to kind of get a little more agency and kind of, or not agency, but like things start to really pick up with like Athenas and some other crazy stuff. And we haven't even gotten to the, the really cool parts where I get my, uh, my turret or, um, or my shoulder cannon and like the, the vanquisher or like the SMG that I need or the class mod that I need to help me go faster. Um, we did get kind of lucky with some drops there, but yeah, like I said, it, it still has a lot that it can grow from. So good run. I think, um, I think I, I'm pretty proud of it. We're sitting here at just an hour. Thank you for watching. If you did, um, like comment, subscribe, um, let me know if there's any games that you like to speed run or if you have any tips or tricks for this section to, uh, to help me out. Some really good highlights in, are in here too. I'm, I'm ha really happy with the, uh, the backdoor mouthpiece skip. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got for you. Links are in the description. You all take care, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.